chances with it. That's why I wouldn't put it out. You wouldn't put it out there. Because could you imagine being in that state, being that kind of fragile person and getting rejection letters from publishers? It would have been... It would have been horrible. horrible. So, um, and I think my friends who were like actually on the verge of, I'm gonna submit your stuff behind your back, kind of a thing, because you just just gotta do it. And and I didn't know that, but um, what eventually happened was uh, I, uh, I w- a very uh, an author that I like, Lori Foster. She was holding a contest on her website, and the contest had. Nothing to do with the things that I like to write about. Uh-huh. Uh, it was either contemporary or historical. And I was always paranormal and things, the fantastical, all this stuff. And she was holding this contest. And I had like maybe two weeks to enter this contest. And all you could submit was three pages. Well, I couldn't just make up three pages. I had to write an entire story in a two-week time <laughs> period. And then we had to agonize over which three pages are we going to put in. My friends and I were like, which one's it going to be? What's it going to be? Finally, I made up the decision. I submitted the three pages. I went to the bathroom, threw up, came out, <laughs> went so back nervous. and threw up. <laughs> I was really, I really, and then, and then they released the winners of this contest, two names at a time, 20 names, two names every week. Uh-huh. And every week I was like, ah, and then I go back in the bathroom and throw up. You know, so, so it's that kind of a thing. And then uh-huh. the 10th week, you know, it was like practically the 10th week my name came up and I was just like, oh my God. And then, um, just based on those three pages, an editor called me. Oh, wow. And, they, and she said, I'd really like to see what you have. And I'm like, you know, well, you don't want what I have. I mean, you don't do the kind of thing that I did. No, 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 send me what you have. So I submitted, I submitted um, the story that I did write in that two-week period, uh-huh. and then I waited a year. Wow. A year. I waited a year. Now, you hear all these stories, all editors have the slush piles on their desks. So I thought I was being the good little writer by being patient. And then every year later, I'm like, did you ever get my story? No, I never got it. <gasps> oh, my God. Like, oh, okay. I'll send it to you again. I go, but I have this one story. Jacob. Jacob. <laughs> Amazing. Like, but it's really not the kind of thing you do. Just send it to me. So I sent it to her, and she loved it. She and loved then, it. You know, I don't think anybody can hate it. Then, There's no way. You know, the you know, and I, and I, I brought it on a fluke because I, I love the picture, and I, and I have to say, I'm one of those, you know, visual. book cover. <laughs> I, if you capture my visual, I will open the book and I will read. And so I'm here in the, in um, you know, in the bookstore, and I saw it. I love the picture, and I'm like, hmm, Jacob, okay. And I open it, and I'm standing there, and I'm just flipping through some, and I'm like, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, it's mine, you know. And and like an hour later, you know, and luckily the people at the bookstore know me because I I'm always getting something. And she's like, Charlie, Charlie, you like that book, you know? And I'm like, I'm taking it home. I'm out of here, okay. You know, it's her way of going, you know, scoot. You know, you've been here for a while, and that was the one book that I because I usually buy two or three and I just bought that one and then from there it was like okay when's our next one when's our next one you know and so I'm following it the whole thing and so you you didn't get the entire you weren't you didn't come in after the entire series had been written no. you were there from the very beginning was I anybody even knew okay was because I was I was you following. are avant-garde I, I was there I was going <laughs> hmm. you know where's the next one where's the next one and so it's like why why isn't she writing what is she doing you know and I'm like why isn't she at her computer to writing and then it's like wait a minute you know she's got a life I know I got to give her time you know <laughs> and so I have I have my my favorite authors on my iPhone with book release dates you know and so every every couple of weeks I'm looking going okay her book's coming out now I can go get it her book's coming out now and I have you know like your book coming out in October your next books and, and they're all there waiting um, what is it you, that the fans and I know that fans contact you do you ever respond back what are their I, what are their normal questions that they typically ask you because I'm sure everybody wants to know about your life and where you get your ideas from oh well that's the, um, the most common question is where do you get your ideas from okay and the most common answer is I dream it I have dreams I have this dream, and um, actually, I can uh, thank my uh, my bipolar <laughs> disorder for that because when we were trying to medicate me, get me under medication, I would take these medications at night, and they would make me have this active, wild, freaky dreaming, you know. <laughs> and then I would be like, 
<laughs> it's really good, you know. And uh, unfortunately, like I, I say now, unfortunately, my medication's all under control now, and I don't have that problem anymore. You don't have the freaky ones. So yet. I'm like, oh, I need that now. Where is it when I need it? So, you know, so great. Um, but most of it would come, like the entire opening sequence in Jacob, uh -huh. when you see the. Uh, I, I dreamed that I, from Jacob's perspective, leaping from lamppost to lamppost, watching a couple walk down a dark, seedy New York street. You know, that that was the dream that I had and then I woke up and I was just like, oh, oh I gotta write that. And that actually, that dream sparked off the first three books in like a month and a half, I wrote the first three books. And then, yeah, because they came out one right after the well, other. That's because when I when when I uh, when she finally said I want Jacob, I, I was like, it, it, uh, she goes, she says, well, we'll do a three book contract. And I'm like, oh, what if I told you the second book was already written? She's like, oh, that's great. Let me have it. Oh, what if I told you the third book was already written? And she's like, uh, I'd say that's great. Let me have it. I go, oh, what if I told you the first five books are already written? She said, Oh so God. you're obsessive as well. I, that was that, well, that's what <laughs> that's I said. the other part. <laughs> yeah. So um, they would had they were all already written, and I had no intentions of ever being published. I just went where it took me, and 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 that was it. So that took me the first. Then I had another one. And uh, if you did, you read Damien? Yes. Okay. I read Damien. If you remember, there's a a, a scene in Damien where he, they, he has just fed off of Sirena, and he's laying in the forest, and this forest is spinning around him. Mm -hmm. That was a dream, and I that got me through Jacob yeah. I mean, da Damien, and then. Um, the dream that sparked Noah was um, when he walks through the wall and through time. He goes through time. He and he goes, gets the, the girl. And, and um, you're also a New York Times bestseller. You're on USA Today. Mm -hmm. um, you, you're you specializing in paranormal and um, fantasy romance. Is there any place else that you want to go? I know you have your new one, Bid, well, is yes, coming and, through. Um, I'm writing under a second name. Uh, oh, you are? I didn't even notice that. It's Jax. <laughs> oh, I just thought that was part of the book name. I didn't even think of it. I just no. thought Jacqueline Frank. No, no, no. Um, it, it, oh, sure. Try to this, change yourself on me. This well, hiding from Jackie. I, I was not stalking her. It really, wasn't my idea. Actually, it was my publisher's idea. They um, they uh, needed a place to put me when I went even too extreme for too too raunchy for prime time. I guess you could say. Okay. <laughs> So this is my uh, first erotica romance, but it is a still it's still a paranormal fantasy okay. erotica. So this is, and you can just take a look at that cover. And, and yeah, and I love the cover. The cover is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, you and I got a cover just for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I found this um, in one of my gift bags from the Authors After Dark, and it's a. Uh, picture of her book, one of your new coming books, um, Seduce Me, Seduce in, me dreams. in Dreams. Ooh. And what I loved about it was, guess what? Guess what's back here? There's like a little condom in here so I can I can be fashionable and have my glory too. <laughs> you know, and I don't know if it's fruit flavored so I can oh, do whatever I, can I want, you know, <laughs> with it. But um but I love when when you do that piece too that you do safe sex practices in your books or you you mention um you give the person that much uh feeling of empowerment to be able to keep themselves safe when they want to. Well, actually, uh, in truth, the there I don't think I ever ever practice safe sex in my books. No, well, you but, haven't. You haven't. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't, but she will now. No, 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 no. no. Actually, the, there's but there's reasons for that. These are, are are supernatural creatures, and they they their their biological uh, makeup uh, makeup is very different than ours. They don't get diseases they don't get sick so they don't have to worry about those things now if they were worried about pregnancy then uh, i might worry to want to change that but they never seem to be worried about that they just go with the flow and you're my you're my mate for the rest of my life so what does it matter you know we're going to have children we're going to have a future it's just the way it is so okay. but um um but and my you know really